Hachiko Waits, Chapter 9. This material is from the Fountas and Pinnell classroom, used with permission. Chapter 9. One spring day, a few weeks after the cherry blossoms had bloomed, Yasuo arrived at the train station a little before three o'clock. He was 16 years old now, and he wore a handsome navy blue uniform and a cap bearing his school's emblem over the brim. As soon as he stepped off the train, he went to see the station master. Come to my office, Yasuo, and I will give you some food for Hachigo. The station master moved slowly now, and his hair was as white as the rice he scooped into Hachiko's bowl. Today is a very special day. Do you know why? Yasuo thought for a minute. It was the fifth day of the fifth month. It is Tango no Seku, he said to the station master. Yes, it is boys' day, Mr. Yoshikawa said. But there is another reason why today is special. Yasuo thought again. Is it your birthday, he asked? No. Is it Hachiko's birthday? No, but it does have something to do with Hachiko. Today marks exactly 10 years that Hachiko has waited for the professor. 10 years? Yasuo shook his head. There has never been a dog as loyal as Hachiko, he said to the station master. Yasuo took Hachiko's bowl of food and walked over to the platform. Hachiko was lying on his side with his head resting on the ground. He was an old dog now, and the golden brown fur around his muzzle had turned white. His left ear had begun to droop several years ago and was now almost bent in half. Hachiko had grown thin and was no longer able to sit up tall and straight. Sometimes he was too tired to climb the steps to the train station, and the yakitori vendor and the station master had to help him do it. Often he would be lying on the platform when Yasuo arrived. Sometimes he was even asleep. Hello, Hachiko, Yasuo said in a gentle voice as he squatted down to pet the dog's side. He could feel Hachiko's ribs beneath his fur. Wake up, little friend, Yasuo said. Do you know it has been 10 years that you have waited for the professor? The Akita opened his eyes and stared at Yasuo, but he did not lift his head. Hello, little friend. What a good dog you are. Yasuo said softly. What a fine dog you are. Hachiko, you are the best dog in all of Japan. As he stroked the side of Hachiko's face with his fingertips, the dog's right ear tilted forward at the sound of an approaching train. Do you want to get up, Hachiko? Yasuo asked. Hachiko looked at Yasuo, and then with great effort, he struggled to his feet. The train appeared around the bend of the tracks, pulled up to the platform, and ground to a loud stop. Hachiko looked at it, sat up as tall and straight as he could, and opened his mouth. One, one, Hachiko barked loudly. One, one. Then, all his strength gone, he sighed a great sigh and collapsed to the ground. Hachiko! Yasuo cried as he watched the dog take a few shuddering breaths. His chest heaved up and down once, twice, three times, and then was still. Yasuo ran to get the station master. Harry, we must help him, he cried. Mr. Yoshikawa came running. He knelt down by the dog and stroked Hachiko's great head. It is too late, he said, his voice filled with sorrow. A small crowd gathered around Hachiko's body. 
the yakitori vendor took off his happy jacket and handed it to Yasuo with a silent bow. Yasuo took the jacket and tenderly covered the dog with it. Then he turned his head and blinked his eyes rapidly. He was almost a grown man now, and he did not want to cry. Come with me, Mr. Yoshikawa said. He brought Yasuo into his office and had him sit down in a chair. The station master pulled up another chair for himself, and the two friends sat together side by side without speaking, each deep in thought. After a while, the station master looked at Yasuo. We feel sad for ourselves because we will not see Hachiko anymore, he said. But there is a reason to feel happy, too. What is there to feel happy about? Yasuo asked, his eyes brimming with tears. Hachiko is no longer old, and he is no longer tired, answered Mr. Yoshikawa, who is a bit old and tired himself. He has left his body, but his spirit is in a better place now. Do you really think so? asked Yasuo. I will tell you what I think, the station master said. Though it is far from traditional, and it may even sound foolish. Mr. Yoshikawa paused and waited. While a train pulled into the station. Do you hear that train? he asked. Yasuo nodded. I have been around trains all my life, Mr. Yoshikawa said, and I have come to believe that there is a special train to bring those who have obtained enlightenment up to heaven. Every day for the past 10 years, Professor Ueno has meant this special train to see if his beloved Akita Ken is on it. Day after day after day, he has waited up in heaven, just as Hachiko has waited here on earth. And today, when the special train reaches heaven and opens its doors, Hachiko will be the first one to step out. Just think how happy he will be to see his master again. Yasuo smiled. He will lick the professor's fingers and then run in circles and make himself dizzy. Mr. Yoshikawa smiled too and brushed away a tear. I will miss him very much. Yasuo nodded and wiped his wet cheeks. So will I.